three, two, one. In the space race, as in life, what goes up must come down. But today, for the first time, the 14-story rocket that carried a payload into space didn't splash land, it didn't explode, nor did it burn up in the atmosphere. Nope. It came to a clean landing on a platform in Florida, a feat that engineers have in the past described as being as tricky as balancing a rubber broomstick on your hand in the middle of a windstorm. The Falcon has landed. SpaceX founder Elon Musk called it a revolutionary moment. This is a critical step along the way towards being able to establish a city on Mars. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. In the Apollo missions and all through the space shuttle program, those expensive rockets were used only once and discarded, driving NASA's costs into the stratosphere. That's why Musk designed the reusable Falcon 9 rocket. He believes a reusable rocket could make space travel affordable. We know it's possible to get there. The question is, is a much more difficult one, which is, can we make a trip to Mars affordable for the average person in the United States? And what's affordable? Well, uh, bear in mind, you, are, you would be moving to Mars. So it, it, it's, um, I think affordable it has to be no more than half a million dollars. So roughly, say, a middle-class house in California. For Good Morning America, David Wright, ABC News, New York.